What is up everybody? Sven Diesel here. We're going to be tying up the double propeller bugger. The reason it's called that is because the hackle goes from the eye down to the bend and back up again. Got the idea from Norm uh, with Norvice watching his uh, DVD on how to use this vice. It is his vice. I've got a stealth hook. This is an N6 in the vice and we're going to go ahead and get started. We're using a wax thread by Semperfly. This is one of their new Flora wax threads. Uh, it's an ADOT. So just go ahead and start right here behind the eye and then snip out your tag in with about five wraps. Now um, go ahead and cover up the shank of the hook. Oh wait, I've got a super fast rotating vise. So I'm going to go ahead and use that and get my thread all the way back to the bend. And if you don't have this, you can just go ahead and cover your shank. It doesn't need to be touching wraps. But we are going to be using for the tail, this is some Nature Spirit. This is their premium bugger boo in olive. This stuff is awesome. Every feather is awesome. I usually get about three buggers out of uh, one feather for the tails. I usually like to do it about 1 to 1.25 times the shank of the hook. So we'll go ahead and tie that in with some nice you know, spiraling wraps almost up to the eye. Snip out our tag end and just kind of clean that up with some, uh, some wraps going up and down. Um, this is one advantage to this vise that makes that really easy. And um, then just make sure we've got our, our marabou coming right off the bend, um, right on top of the shank. And with most of my buggers, I want to tie in some flash. So let's grab about three strands of crystal flash here. Uh, you can use five, you can use seven, you can use one. But uh, let's just grab a little few right here. And what you want to do is you want to pinch them real tight right here and then switch hands so that they're right here on my side of the shank and we'll do about four or five wraps up the shank uh, just to make sure they're secure and then we'll flying V it over to the other side and then make sure that they are right there midway on the shank um, so that they're coming down both sides almost like a lateral line and then I always just pull them and once the marabou ends I just trim them out so Pretty easy to get consistent with those. And for our body, we're just using a uh, chenille. This is a medium uh, olive with some flash. I, I don't have the package, but it's um, just a basic chenille. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull the, uh, the fibers out so I got the core exposed. And I'll tie that in right now at the uh, shank and then get my thread up to the front. And we're going to use the rotary function. So just do a little half hitch. And we'll put our uh, our thread out here on our holder and then just kind of wiggle around that hook point making sure not to hit it and then bam right up to the hook eye pretty easy um, you can rib that or sorry palmer that if you don't have a rotary vise just up to the eye and then go ahead and tie it off try to leave about hot, half an eye length um, space between where you're tying that off and the eye that gives you a little space for the hackle and also to build a little bit of a head. So um, we are going to now tie in our hackle. And for this, we're using a Euro hackle. I really like this for my buggers. You usually get, you know, two to four buggers per feather. Um, but for this way, doing the double propeller, we're only going to get about two per feather. And so I'm just going to tie it in by the butt end right here at the eye. And you want to make sure that that feather is concaving uh, towards the body uh, that it's not going away otherwise the the fibers will want to fan towards the eye instead of back towards the tail so we're going to rotor use the rotary function we're just going to half hitch I'm going to do a double um, just because I've had some of these come undone and so I'll put my bobbin over here and if you don't have a rotary vise just palmer this around going up and down but you're going to want to get one after seeing how smooth that just went and just be a little careful around that uh, hook point and then we'll go ahead and end right back up here at the eye and you can you know what I kind of twisted that let's undo it I uh, didn't like how that went so I got a little twist here at the beginning but uh, that's the advantage to having good hackle and you can always undo it as long as you tied it in secure and didn't bugger them up too bad um, but yeah oh yeah that looks better so that was a an example of what it would look like if the, the the hackle fibers were going forward you can see now they're mostly going back counter ribbing it with its with the own with its hackle it kind of forces some fibers to go every which way but the ideology behind this is by spiraling it one way it creates a, 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 a 
turbine or a, a, a basically a propeller that's going to spin and twist it. And so Norm talked about going up and then back up, creating a dual propeller system so that it's not going to twist your tippet. Uh, I haven't tested that theory, but I, uh, I have had some you know, buggers and stuff that have been twisted on my tippet or in line that I, you know, got tangled on itself. So maybe there, there is some truth to that, but I figured, Hey, you know, why take someone else's word for it when I can try it myself? So tying up a bunch of these, just secure that feather there at the head. We built a little bit of a head and, um, go ahead and trim out your hackle. Um, at this point, just clean up any uh, fibers that you may have bound down when you were whip finishing I tend to do that I usually get about three or four that really annoy me but if you're okay with that they will still fish the same if you do have some fibers that really annoy you this is a cautery tool I just kind of get really close just kind of stick it barely in the eye don't get too close to your thread because it will fray as you can see uh, no I think I'm good but just put a little bit of UV resin down and be careful on this underside not to bugger up your eye um, with that UV resin. I always like to kind of check it, um, but on this I know I'm good. If you do get a little resin in there, just hit it with your bodkin and wipe it off on your finger or grab a paper towel. But there's the double propeller. Um, you can see the rotary function made it super easy. Um, all these materials come in tons of different colors, so tie some up to match your local water. You can see I've just been cranking these out because it's been kind of a lot of fun. So tie some up. Hope they pierce some loops for you.